Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I'll be showing you an interesting vulnerability which allowed me to create multiple accounts with the exact same email address. It sounds interesting, right? Well, I was able to do this by exploiting a race condition vulnerability which was present in that application. So in today's video, I'll show you how I found that vulnerability, how you can find that vulnerability too. So but please ignore this weird background with this weird font text. So let's get started. So here you can see I have a basic account registration page. I'm simply going to use my temporary email address for account registration. So now it's asking me to verify my email address. Let's simply click on this account activation link. Now this is the actual page which is used for account registration. Here you can see it's asking me to fill the first name, last name and the password that I want to use for this account. Now let's simply fill random details and let's use a very basic password. Now what I can do is I can capture the HTTP request with my proxy which is bobsuit in this case. So let's simply capture the HTTP request. Now this is the actual HTTP request which is used for account creation. Here you can see this API endpoint slash API slash user slash activate and there are these parameters with their values. Now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the request into the repeater tab. Here you can see I've sent the request into the repeater tab and apps, you can see this is request. These all are same HTTP request. You can see these all are same. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these tabs into a single group. Bobsuit has an inbuilt feature which allows us to do this and with that you can see it's using version 2 of the HTTP protocol. Now in this version 2 there's a new attack which is getting popular nowadays which is single packet attack. In that attack basically what it what happens is that we send multiple HTTP, HTTP requests in a single TCP packet. Now with that with that we are able to perform race conditions. Now single packet attack is nowadays used for performing triggering race conditions vulnerabilities. Now in the Bob suit we have this feature to send the, re uh, send the request parallelly. You can see this single packet attack. Let's send this. Let's see what happens. You can see, uh, uh, you can see this request uh, the account got created. You can see user created, user created. Now I guess this request failed probably because it executed a bit slower. You can see these requests, these two requests failed. But we can notice these, we can notice um, now you can see what happened was, what happened is I've used the same email address to create multiple accounts. Now to confirm this, you can notice this ID parameter. Now for one account, we have assi we have been assigned this ID and for the another account with the same email address, another ID is assigned. You can see the email is same. Now with this attack, I was able to create multiple accounts with same email address. Now in the, da in the database where these credentials, where these informations were stored, in that I believe and duplicate entries were created. So with that, with this single packet attack, I was able to do this. It's a kind of race condition. I hope you learned something new.